Uh, uh, Mr. Mohammed, are they moving? Because we've had cases of where some persons in communities um, don't want to move um, when the sensitization is brought to them about the impact of the flood. Um, they don't want to leave their ancestral homes. I, I agree with you. Uh, uh, not only in Nigeria, even in the U.S. during the, the, the Katrina incidents, many people refused to leave their homes. Number one, for somebody to leave his house, you must have given him an alternative accommodation while he lives. Exactly. So, 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 said governments had the responsibility of setting up IDP camps. Uh, Unfortunately, in several instances, our schools have been turned into IDP camps. And of course, that has the consequential effect of uh, disrupting uh, normal routine education. Uh, we have a plan for education in emergency. You can deploy technology to, to, to sustain uh, education. But absolutely, it is correct. Uh, and, and let me say this. Water is, a, is, is like a magnet. Hmm. Anywhere you see water, people are bound to live very close to that uh, water body. Look for any open space in Abuja here. Put a water fountain. You see people congregating there. Uh, if you look at the map of the world, major cities are along the coastlines. So water bodies attract people. Uh, yet, in times of emergency, uh, people are expected to move away from any place that is, uh, that, is that, that, uh, that constitute hazard, constitute risk to their lives. These are advocacy that we have to consistently be doing. Okay. The more we are, we are doing it, the more we are building that uh, resilient population in Nigeria.